He survives more than Captain Falcon. I want to give a small, I, just a, a little shout out to a move I think may be very practical in this matchup alone. Not only on top of that Falcon die, but also Falcon's down tilt may prove to be very, Ooh, yeah. very beneficial in terms of punishing Suarez when they go too far off stage. That being said, if Nixie is able to find openers and finish combos with knee reliably, then he may not even need it. Oh boy, so much damage from that. And he opts for the neutral air at the end of it in order to send him off stage. You can see why. Look at all this damage continuing out there. No invincibility on the re-grab. And that nose will hit just enough below the ledge that that's going to be the first stock for Suarez. Taking a bit of damage early on and responding with just... That was almost a zero to death. Taking, he won neutral what, twice? He, no, he once. Won. He won neutral once, yeah. He won neutral once, Tall put tanks. him on ledge, and then closed it out. That's, and I mean, the same thing is happening here. Just how long Suarez spends in advantage is ridiculous. Great non-mash, mashing Falcon Kick out of it may have proven to be the differential. Love that mix of the quick jab, yeah. trying to force uh, Suarez into shielding, uh, trying to force him into thinking that neutral air was safe, but not safe enough. I think we even saw him try to jump away from that egg lay, but it was just a little bit too quick for him. Now it's at a, oh, he could be dead right here. If the, oh, no, in fact, he gets the parry. Up throw is not enough to do it, but the up air right after manages to do the job. Now, both of these characters are extremely explosive, so we may see the shoe enter the other foot if Nixie is able to find a pretty good starter. Looking for the reset off of the Raptor boost, but Suarez not giving it to him. He doesn't have a jump, but late side beat to the ledge. In that situation, it avoided the egg entirely. Man, from so, so far. far. He goes so, <laughs> yeah, he's so big. Oh, was wow. that a, that might have been a shield poke. It was, it had to be. Well, either it was a shield poke or a jump, but either way, it bullied uh, Nixie's shield so much that it definitely could have. But still, 69 before taking that stock, and now it's starting to turn around real quick. I was saying, he, Nixie could have been in a really great spot, but then Suarez started to hit some very, very clutch oh buttons boy. in his face and keep the combos going. And he DI'd out from that. He was not expecting to get hit. All of a sudden, 99%. He is sitting pretty much at death's door. If he can manage to take this stock from Suarez right now without, you know, eating anything else, he's not going to get the chance. That egg to neutral there just cleans things up. Two stock. And you can one. see that that was what Suarez was following. Get a little bit of camera work. What a nice... Oh yeah, look guys! At like, look uh, at this. Quick shout dude. out to House of Three Thousand. Look you at know, this the, dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I, Devin definitely could just rest on his laurels if he wanted to, considering how nice the stream is. But no, it just keeps always improving. Like he was he was following the trajectory of the egg, and once he saw it connect, that was when he knew rising. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. just just like great reaction as we see Yoshi's massive boot. <laughs> See, he's, he's, it's like inflatable, you know? Yeah. I mean, low-key, the Mario characters, they, their limbs, or their tendons, I guess, like, they, they're filled with, they're filled with air. They're filled with helium. <laughs> oh, my God. He's just getting beaten to death by a balloon right now, 104%. That was a great he up beat out of shield, reversed it, making sure that he would uh, punish the cross up. We're seeing, we are seeing some matchup knowledge from Nixie, but oh man, when you look at the difference in terms of the damage from a single neutral interaction, I mean, look at that egg right there, punishing the neutral getup, and Nixie's still kind of struggling to find ways to take stocks consistently. Yeah, because I mean, these up airs are so well placed, and that up smash, especially, finally, instead of going trying to rise and go air to air, which really hasn't been working because of Yoshi's double jump argument, able to find that up smash, which is like a huge boon, being able to take that stock first before Suarez gets anything going for him. Yeah, no. love the drift <clears throat> mix up, just entirely <gasps> cutting back, but here is you Suarez. See that? The real back on the grab, such a smart option from Suarez in that position. Oh my god, that grab! I'm so sorry, Falcon. You don't deserve that. You that No, it's okay. He was a, he was inside. Can I get some exclamation point falcons in the chat? Oh, uh, that should be dead. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a gone Falcon. Just right out there, not Suarez not even worrying about the drift mix-ups that Falcon can't get. Just jumping out of disadvantage. Hey, down to <laughs> Oh, but that, if he'd been just a little bit quicker on that down air, 
with the egg saving Suarez's skin right now. Nonetheless, Nixie managing to stay right on top of him. And any hit could possibly lead into a death. That is part of the explosivity of Falcon. Wow, so much is getting interrupted just before the hitbox comes out. Nixie had thrown out multiple uh, Nair ones and even the up smash got interrupted by Suarez before they were able to take his life. Is just really unfortunate if you're Nixie, but all you know, what you need to know right now is just how uh, how good Suarez's timing is and how easily Nixie can turn around so many situations. That dash attack, being able to find a just anything to catch a landing, but Nixie's not catching any breaks, and Suarez isn't letting him catch a break at all. Look at that run up down smash, seeing that he wanted to head to ledge, the safety that comes with re-grabbing ledge in that spot. No. Yeah, honestly, just fantastic stuff from Suarez. It felt like maybe Nixie had started to find a groove, but then this, it was like an arms race of adaptation. And you see Suarez just doubling down, taking 2-0 once again in a two-stock. Two two-stocks back-to-back. Nixie's going to have to really change a lot about his gameplay. And the biggest thing is I think he just has to, his punishes need to matter more. His single win, he's doing well in the neutral. Uh, but then, you know, when it comes time to kill, he's looking for those up smashes maybe a little bit too eagerly, you know, and when at these lower percents he gets a single hit, it doesn't necessarily convert into that much damage, whereas Yoshi's single hits become all of this. Yeah. If, if Suarez is able to combo into down uh, into down air, then that's already incredible, putting him so far ahead. And even these up air chains just here, no when you find one, you find more than one. But I love how Nixie has just adapted further. Like, he knows that going for these up airs isn't always going to guarantee him a win in neutral because of Yoshi's double jump armor. So instead, he's hunting for air dodges and he's hunting for landings instead. Yeah. Ooh, the cross up. You know, earlier we saw Nixie try to punish what would have been a roll with that bullet smash. Yoshi's don't roll. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> That, oh. The gravitational vortex that his thighs exude is ridiculous. Well, they are massive. <laughs> this is true. So they, they have their, I'm pretty sure that they do have a similar uh, gravitational pull as the moon. <laughs> I love the, the falcon kick landing trying to catch an air dodge as well. Nixie is always trying to pull out the random as his options as that pivot grab. Ends up converting into a stop DIOA. because of missed the eye. DIOA. His forward throw, forward throw is not going to kill you, ever. So just DI away. Don't mess around with down throw mix-ups. They're all fake. You heard it here first. Oh my god, he's at 80. <laughs> <laughs> Yoshi damage is, I mean, if you just keep and finding... That's so good. Because that's, that's, that's... Remember that's in so game good. one... In game, I think it was game one where he got hit by the egg into neutral air. If he doesn't, if he tries to dodge the egg, Yoshi can still just be right on top of him. Oh man, the oh, fact that sour spot too, that's just rough, but catches the jump away. This is a really important sequence for Nick C. He needs to close it out, and there is the down tilt. Validation. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is really important right here, these low percents. He's, oh. <laughs> the real back. Really nice from Nick C. I will say, if he manages to get the comeback and take this game right here, he might be in contention for taking the set. Uh, that being said, 100% uh, against Yoshi. Got the Ooh. wrong hit of back air for the drag down. f tilt after f tilt, but good mix up on the timing from Nixie to keep himself alive. Finds that back throw on a very risky grab. Well, I know, he just stopped moving. Oh. Jab trying to go for some kind of mix up. He's at 100. He's dead from the up smash. You know, game two, he was looking for up smash, up smash, up smash, and they just weren't landing. Game three, how many up smashes did he land? Sheesh. I believe he landed two sweet spots and one sour spots, and that's because he was going for them a little bit earlier. Previously in game two, he got interrupted by Yoshi's big forward air or Yoshi's nair. This time, it was pulling the trigger a little earlier, and even when he got the sour spot in that one instance, which would have resulted in a kill, yeah. Not only it that, still it, it wasn't anticipatory. Like that time, it wasn't anticipatory. He waited for the air dodge in order to kill him with it. So I think that Nixie showed immense patience in that last game. The fact that he stopped moving, just stood there in place, and then Suarez just misspaced the forward air. That grab he got, I'm pretty sure that was just a straight up true grab because Yoshi just was, you know, I think he was expecting to back up a little bit, but no, he's like, I'm not gonna move. Why bother? His back was against the wall anyway. Anyway, here it is. 
going to be a little bit rough for Nixie because now he's forced to play on Suarez's counterpick twice over if he wants to take the set. I don't think that's going to matter too much. Honestly, look at this. Already he's cleaned up so much of his play. Oh, as I say that, I miss Tech leading to death right there. Really smart from Suarez. Almost had the read on the jump back to center with that up smash, and he's throwing them out liberally now, realizing that this is Falcon's best killing anti-air, and he needs to make use of it more, uh, more than he already has been. 30%, and there it is. Neutral tech up smash. Just do it. <laughs> yeah, those, those full hop down airs had been working out for Suarez earlier on. I think it's a little too risky to go for them now. Another drop from back air. Now we... Okay, Suarez finding a grab. Can be out of that. Just, <laughs> just, just, just go away from him. <laughs> when, when you should grab you, just hold away from him. Uh, oh, and a shield. Look yeah. At all this damage. He hasn't managed to find any way back to neutral in quite some time. That was honestly so. Did you see the movement choices that Nixie was going for right there? Finally, now he is out of the corner. The question is whether he can actually do anything with a bit of stage positioning. Oh, he jumped before the uppy came out, and I love that quick jump. The drift and the cognizance from Nixie to not only go for an instant double jump, but also how he's been delaying that same double jump so frequently, but the egg, egg into back air, super killing. I guess so much hit stuns, and that was really big for Suarez. Now, once more at lower percents, he can just take all the time to get some brutal combos. That's what we're seeing, 52% already on Nixie. He's looking for these neutralizers, he's looking for back airs. But I will say it's really cool how Nixie will like use these throughout all these aerials to condition his opponent, you know, from in a micro sense, to go for shield. Uh, and then go for an up or something like that. Uh, that being said, the neutral right now is just looking so dominant for Suarez. It's crazy that Nixie has like almost hit his game plan guy, as we see. That was a ridiculous string off of the back air, comboing into up tilt, which comboing into up air, just an absolute true combo off of uh, a safe oh, yeah. move on block. You know, she's kind of crazy uh, if you let him be. But the it was so rough watching Nick C play, try to play through Suarez's uh, depth of neutral, where it honestly it looked like Nick C kind of abandoned what he's most known for, those clean extensions, those creative conversions. It's so hard with Yoshi, though. Not so only does exactly he have, why, Not right? only does he have, like, the best air mobility in the game, he has double jump armor. He has just, he can just air dodge, but he also has a neutral there. He is down B, so when you're trying to juggle him, he might go to the ledge, or he might do double jump instant down B. Uh, Yoshi, he also has egg stalls. Yoshi Mix has... Up galore. It, it, yeah, no, he honestly has one of the best disadvantage states in the game.